Today we shall discuss unit step function as a one of the chapter of Laplace transforms. The unit step function is denoted by u of t minus a. It is also called as Heaviside function and is defined by u of t minus a equal to zero if t less than or equal to a or t minus a less than or equal to zero and it will be equal to one if t is greater than a. If you sketch the graph of unit step function that looks like this. If you take a equal to zero, then it takes the form like this. The function will be zero for positive values of the independent variable here t axis, and it will be zero for negative values here t here u of. Since I have taken a equal to zero, this will be u of. T. So here u of t is one. So this is the unit step function. Now we are going to discuss some of the properties and problems on unit step function. So properties. So three important properties we are going to list here. One of the property that is most basic basic one. The Laplace transform of u of t minus a is e power minus a s by s. The generalized uh, portion of this property, Laplace transform of f of t minus a into u of t minus a is equal to Laplace transform of f of t minus a into u of t minus a. We have that is equal to e power minus a s into Laplace transform of f of t. Keep this in mind. Laplace transform of f of t minus a into u of t minus a is equal to e power minus a s into the plus transform of f of t. Third one, how to express the function that is defined in different intervals using the unit step function. Suppose I have f of t equal to f one of t if zero less than or equal to t less than or equal to a, and it is equal to f two of t if a less than t less than b, and f three of t. If b less than or equal to t. Now I have a function that is defined in three different intervals. Now I can write f of t in a single statement or a single line with the help of unit step function. That is, in terms of unit step functions, f of t will be the way of writing f of t is first function I have to write as it is f one of t. No change in that. Second term will be second function minus the first function, that is f two of t minus f one of t times u of right end point of first subinterval u of t minus a e plus plus third term will be third function minus the second function, that is f three of t minus f two of t. Into u of t minus. B. So this is the way of writing the function f of t that is defined in different subintervals in a single line. Next, we shall discuss some problems on this. How to find the Laplace transform of functions involving unit step function? So we are going to discuss such problems here, and in all the problems, we are going to use these properties. First, let us start with these simple problems. Problems, or I will take that as examples. Find the Laplace transform of the following. Of the following. So, a. First problem, I take e power t minus one. e of t minus 1 plus sin of t minus 1 into u of t minus 1 so that is the first problem we need to find the laplace transform of this function so given such a function first we have to identify what is f of t minus a and what is the unit step function we have to compare this with compare with f of t minus a into U of t minus a. Property two. So comparing that with 
this you have to identify two things first one what is the value of a second one what is f of p minus a so solution given given so i will call this as g of p so g of p equal to e power t minus 1 plus sin of t minus 1 into u of t minus 1 here f of t minus a equal to e power t minus 1 plus sin of t minus 1 and a equal to 1 now uh, next I have to get f of t from this then I have to find its Laplace transform now do one thing instead of small f I will take this as okay small f of t minus a I will take this one as capital F of t I will take small f of t minus a as capital F of t so from this it is obvious that small f of t equal to capital F of t plus a I have taken this small f of t minus a as capital F of t I want f of t so Replace p by t plus a, you get small f of t equal to capital F of t plus a. Now, f of t equal to capital F of t plus a. So, capital F of t is e power t minus 1, this is e power t minus 1 plus sin of t minus 1. Here, I have to replace t by t plus 1. So, a is 1, so I have to replace t by t plus 1. So this will be then e power t plus 1 minus 1 that is e power t plus sin t. So Laplace transform of f of t will be Laplace transform of e power t plus sin t. That is Laplace transform of e power t plus Laplace transform of sin t. What is Laplace transform of e power t? that is 1 by s minus a the plus transform of sin t that is 1 by s square plus 1 therefore the plus transform of the plus transform of e power t minus 1 plus sin of t minus 1 into u of t minus 1 is equal to e power minus s here a is 1. So e power minus s into Laplace transform of f of t. That is 1 by s minus a plus 1 by s square plus 1. So that is the solution of the given problem. Now let us take one more problem on this. Problem b. Problem b. t square minus 60 plus 9 times e power minus of t minus 3 into u of t minus 3. So this is the given problem. We need to find the Laplace transform of this one. Solution. Let, let g of t equal to t square minus 60 plus 9 into e power minus of t minus 3 into u of t minus 3. We need to find the Laplace transform of g of t. Now uh, we have to identify small f of t minus a that is capital F of t and the value of a. Small f of t minus a small f of t minus a or capital F of t is equal to t square minus 60 plus 9 times e power minus of t minus 3. Except this unit step function, I have to take the remaining as small f of t minus a, that is capital F of t. And the value of a is 3. You can compare that with u of t minus a to get the value of a. Now, this I can simplify as so 
instead of small write capital f of t equal to t square minus 60 plus 9 that is t minus 3 whole square into e power minus of t minus 3 now small f of t equal to now small f of t equal to capital f of t plus a that is capital f of t plus 3 if I replace t by t plus 3 here, you get t plus 3 minus 3 whole square, that is t square, into e power minus of t plus 3 minus 3, e power minus 3, that is small f of t. Now, Laplace transform of small f of t is, Laplace transform of e power minus t into t square. Now, either you can apply property 1 or property 2, usually we will prefer property 2, that is most easier compared to property Sorry, we prefer property 1 that is easier compared to property 2. So, this will be as per property 1 Laplace transform of t square where s should be replaced by s plus 1. Now, Laplace transform of t square is what? Laplace transform of t power n is gamma of n plus 1 divided by s power n plus 1. So that implies f of s equal to gamma of t plus 1, gamma of 3 divided by s power 3. And when n is a positive integer, the value of gamma of n plus 1 is n factorial. So this will be 2 factorial divided by s cube or 2 by s cube. So f of s or Laplace transform of f of t is 2 by s cube. Therefore, Laplace transform of g of t equal to Laplace transform of this function is equal to e power minus a s that is e power minus 3 s into Laplace transform of f of t minus a Laplace transform of f of t minus a that is Laplace transform of it is not a Laplace transform of f of t minus a it is Laplace transform of f of t so Laplace transform of 2 by s cube. So that is the Laplace transform of the given function g of t. Next. We shall discuss a different type of problems here. Next. Find the Laplace transform of the function. So here first we need to express the given function in terms of unit step function. f of t equal to t if 0 less than t less than 4 and 5 if t is greater than 4. We need to express f of t in terms of unit step function then we can find its Laplace transform. Now we have we have f of t equal to to write this in terms of unit step function we have to follow the procedure. So first term will be the first function t plus second term will be second function minus the first function into u of t minus the right end point of first subterm. So f of t equal to t plus 5 minus t into u of t minus 4. Now take Laplace transform on both sides. So this will be L of f of t equal to L of t Laplace transform of t plus Laplace transform of 5 minus t into u of t minus 4. Call this as equation 1. Now the Laplace transform of t that you can write directly, no problem with that. We need to find the, the Laplace transform of t minus 4 into u of t minus 4 separately. Then you can substitute that in equation 1. So now I worry about this term. Let capital F1 of t equal to 5 minus t. Let capital F1 of t equal to 5 minus t. And the value of a is 4 value of a is 4. Now small f1 of t equal to capital f1 of t plus a 
that is capital F1 of t plus 4. So substitute in for t, 5 minus of t minus of t plus 4 it is. So 5 minus t minus 4, 5 minus 4, 1 minus t. So Laplace transform of F1 of t equal to Laplace transform of 1 minus Laplace transform of t. Laplace transform of 1 is 1 by s minus Laplace transform of t is 1 by s square. Therefore Laplace transform of right. Therefore Laplace transform of 5 minus t into u of t minus 4 is Laplace transform of f of t corresponding to this function into e power minus 4s. So e power minus 4s times the Laplace transform of f of t is 1 by s minus 1 by s square that we have computed here. Now substituting this in equation 1. Laplace transform of g of t is we have f of t no problem. So Laplace transform of f of t is Laplace transform of t 1 by s square plus Laplace transform of this term that we have computed here e power minus 4s into 1 by s minus 1 by s square. So that is the Laplace transform of the function f of t equal to t with Taylor is between 0 and 4 and 5 if t is greater than 4. Now let's consider one more problem. So here in these problems, first we need to write f of t in terms of register functions, then we have to find their Laplace transforms. Now problem B, problem B, f of t equal to sin t 0 less than t less than pi cos t if t is greater than pi. Now we have to write this in, in terms of unit step function then find its Laplace transform. So we have we have L of f of t, sorry, we have f of t equal to f of t equal to first term will be the first function sin t plus second term cos t minus sin t into u of t minus pi. Now we need to find the Laplace transform of this. So take a Laplace transform on both sides. So L of f of t will be sin t Laplace transform of sin t plus Laplace transform of cos t minus sin t into u of t minus pi. Call this as equation 1 again. Now this we can write directly, no problem with this. We need to find the Laplace transform of this function. So I will call this as capital F1 of t. Let capital F1 of t equal to cos t minus sin t capital F1 of t equal to cos t minus sin t now a is pi small f1 of t equal to capital F1 of t plus a that is cos of t plus pi minus sin of t plus pi so you get minus cos t cos of t plus pi. So t plus pi means uh, you get third quadrant where cos is negative. So minus cos t and the sign of t plus pi. Again this will be third quadrant. Again sign is negative. Minus of minus sign of t plus pi you get sin t. So I got minus cos t plus sin t. Laplace transform of f1 of t is Laplace transform of minus cos t plus Laplace transform of sin t. So it is minus s by s square plus a square 
here a is one, so minus s by s square plus one plus one by s square plus one. Now Laplace transform of cos t minus sin t into u of t minus pi. That is e power minus pi s into the plus transform of f1 of t that is I write this term first 1 by s square plus 1 positive term I am writing first minus s by s square plus 1 now the Laplace transform of this will be Laplace transform of f of t that is f of s equal to Laplace transform of psi t 1 by s square plus 1 plus the plus transform of the second term cos t minus sin t times u of t minus pi that we have computed here e power minus pi s into 1 by s square plus 1 minus 1 by s square plus s by s square plus 1 since we have common denominator this I can write as 1 minus s divided by s square plus 1 so that completes the solution next Problem C f of t equal to one if zero less than or equal to t less than or equal to one t if one less than t less than two t square if t is greater than two. Now we need to find the Laplace transform of this function. As usual, first we need to express f of t in terms of the list of functions. Solution we have f of t equal to first term will be the first function minus we have plus sorry plus second term will be second function t minus the first function into u of t minus right hand point of first term plus t square minus t into u of t minus 2. So this is f of t in terms of unit step function. Taking Laplace transform on both sides, this will be L of f of t equal to L of 1 plus L of t minus 1 into u of t minus 1 plus L of t square minus t into u of t minus 2. Call it as equation 1. Now, this we can write directly. Now we need to find the Laplace transform of these two terms. Or we need to find the Laplace transform t minus 1 into u of t minus 1 and Laplace transform of t square minus t into u of t minus 2. First, let capital F1 of t equal to t minus 1 into u of t minus 1. Oh, sorry, capital F1 of t is just t minus 1. And the value of a is 1. So, small f1 of t will be capital F1 of t plus 1. That is t plus 1 minus 1. You okay? get only t. So, f1 of s equal to taking Laplace transform on both sides. It will be 1 by s square. So, Laplace transform of t minus 1 into u of t minus 1 is e power minus s into 1 by s square. The second term is e power minus s into 1 by s square. Next, consider the last term. The plus transform of t square minus t into u of t minus 2. Here, f of f2 of t equal to t square minus t. And a is 2. Now, small f2 of t equal to capital f2 of t plus 2. That is t plus 2 whole square minus of t plus 2. t plus 2 whole square. t square plus 4t minus 4. Minus of t plus 2. Minus t plus 2. So it will be t square 4t minus t plus 3t 
plus minus to it. Now the plus transform of this is to compute the Laplace transform of that small f2 of s equal to Laplace transform of t square plus Laplace three times Laplace transform of t minus Laplace transform of two. It will be two by s cube plus three into one by s square. Minus two by s. Now Laplace transform of t square minus t into u of t minus two is e power minus two s times two by s cube plus three by s square minus two by s. That is the Laplace transform of t square minus t into u of t minus two. Now we have determined this and these terms substituting in one we get f bar of s or simply f of s equal to l of one that is one by s plus l of t minus one into u of t minus one that we have computed here e power minus s into one by s square plus L of t square minus t into u of t minus two. That is e power minus two s into two by s cube plus three by s square minus two by s. So that is the Laplace transform of the function f of t. So this is about the Laplace transform of unit step functions. So till this we have discussed. What do you mean by Laplace transformation of a function f of t, and the simple problems on that? Then we have discussed four properties of Laplace transforms, and most important two of them are the Laplace transform of e power a t into f of t equal to Laplace transform of f of t, where t is replaced, s is replaced by s minus property one. This is called shifting property. And second most important is this, property two, that is differentiation. Laplace transform of t power n into f of t is minus one power n times nth derivative of Laplace transform of f of t. This is the second important property, property number two, and this is called differentiation, and this is called shifting. third property the plus transform of f of t by t equal to integral s to infinity the plus transform of f of t into ds this is the third property of laplace transforms we have discussed the problems on these properties then laplace transform of periodic function and finally laplace transform of unit step function so this completes first of unit of laplace transforms So in the first half we will study what are Laplace transforms and problems on that. In the second half we will discuss inverse Laplace transforms. As I said in my first video, if L transforms or Laplace transform transforms f of t to f of s, then L inverse transforms f of s back to f of t. So the function of inverse Laplace transform is exactly opposite to the function of Laplace transforms. So now this is about Laplace transform and study this well.